Next up is the Harris Chain. Maybe a shot of redemption for you? Yeah, for me, you know, Harris Chain, time for redemption. I, mean, I want to try to find the bulk of my fish fishing and add a few sight fish along the way. Because I really don't think that this is an event that you can win strictly just fishing or strictly just sight fishing. The way the moon's set up, the way the weather's warming up, there's going to be a big push of fish coming to the bank, and it's going to be a pretty awesome event. I, this is what I call a slugfest. Oh, it's a giant, dude. A giant. Oh, God. Giant one. Giant one. Oh my gosh. It's cut day. It is cut day, isn't it? It's cut day. We done cut it up, didn't we? <laughs> you gotta get up, go find 20 pounds. Get up, go find 20 pounds. I'm trying. I'm trying to channel my inner Billy. I don't know, <laughs> Billy. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. A, I, the way Billy would do something stupid call like Billy this. this morning. Right? Just yeah. Call him right now. Okay, I'll call him right now. Call him right now. It's 5:49. Yeah, I'm not doing that. I got a video. So my prediction is this morning. He did. Yeah, Rin. That was this morning. That don't get you going in the morning, I don't know what does. I guess so now, we're into the video now, you're wondering like, what am I watching, right? Well, this is Bassmaster Elite on the Harris Chain. This is day three, cut day, guys. Pretty special deal, to be honest with you. Um, we all fished our butts off. We all in the cut. I'm in 12th, no, I'm in 13th, beating Canterbury by two ounces. He's in 14th, and old Ari is in, I think, 16th or so. But he had almost 20 pounds yesterday. I had 17 again. Here's the neat thing. As you say, okay, we we're all in the cut. You know, we all, we all, we all kind of work together. We all kind of, you know, talk about, you know, what's going on. But we're all doing something different. Canterbury's been in an entire different lake, doing doing other things. I've been as far south as you can go on the chain, and and Matt's like right by Blastoff. I mean, because that's you know he's just close. Because that's he doesn't risk much. He just go, but it's working for him. I mean, I actually have to say that there's not much grass in Harris. And Matt, along with uh, probably six or seven or eight of the other guys in the top 20, found this one grass bed that's in the lake. And it's just it's just like reloading. I got a little spot over here on Harris that uh, for the first two days of the tournament, I stopped each day. Only 45 minutes on day one. Caught two fours and a two, which I weighed the two fours in. On yesterday, with about an hour or so to fish, I stopped and caught a two and a half, which I needed, and a six and a half. So half of my fish that I've weighed in have come from this one little spot over in Harris. And that's where we're going today. We're not gonna lock through. We're just gonna go down there. And I don't think anybody's pressured these fish. I'll have it on myself. It's a small area. I can kind of figure out how to maybe catch five good fish in there. So that's what we're gonna do. I don't know what's gonna happen. I really don't. I mean, I think I'm gonna get bit, but it's a little bit of a gamble. So we're going all in on this new deal and that's the way it's gonna be. So guys, join us. We're going to have cameras with me, cameras with Ari, cameras with Canterbury. Bring you guys along. Day three, cut day. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. We're cranking up the lights now.
There he is. <laughs> it's a little tiny one, but if it was a bass. That's all that matters. If he is, it's good. Yeah. Oh yeah. Twelve inch, twelve inch keeper. Yeah. Yeah. plan comes together. Thank you, Jesus. Put her on this side right here. Uh, pound a quarter, pound a, pound a quarter. Oh God, that's that's a thousand percent a bass. I just got to catch him. It's kind of being weird. I mean, 100% these are bass. There he is. Isn't that crazy? That's crazy, dude. Two and a half. That was crazy, huh? Told you. Like, there's, there's, there's. They're all right here, dude. If I can just get them to bite, I can catch 20-something pounds right here. Okay.
There he is. Pound and a half. That's five. That's where I caught the four. I caught a four out of that one first day. I think there's more in there. Turd being a turd. God dang! Oh no, no! Might be a, just a two pounder because I, I think I caught this fish in practice. I think that's him. I think he's two pounds. Gets rid of the one pounder. If I gain a pound, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna open these up real quick, please. I've had bad things happen. That's the wall of skier. Him in there. Pounder in here. That's not him. That one. Yeah. There he is. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, that's a blessing right there. That is what you call a decision. Was that a decision or what? Wow. Hook fell out, dude. Fell out. 
Seven. <laughs> I said I need a seven to make the cut. <laughs> so seven. now you need a nine to make the cut, right? Well, probably. There he is. Oh my gosh. Oh wow, that was a big one, dude. That knocked slack in my line, bro. Might be like a 10 pounder, dude. Oh, missed her again, dude. How'd I miss her again? I stuck her that time, that's not good. That one, I, I never felt it, but, but that big blob came back and got it. I don't know how it's another big one, but I think it's another giant, dude. There he is, there she is. It's a good one. Gets rid of that little tiny one. What's that one? Two and a half. Three, two and a half. Pretty sure that's my small one. Yep, that one. Okay. Yeah. That's a straight two pounder. I got him over there. Maybe she'll swim back. There, there's a there's a gigantic one there. That, that was not the one that hit me. Maybe I can catch her tomorrow. See if I can find a fresh one real quick. Might be able to find one on one of these. Alright man, I'll see you later. Good luck, baby. Thank you.
Gush Rod. <laughs> That's a giant. Another big one, dude. Another big one. What's that one? Six. Okay. Thank you, Lord. That was a blessing right there, dude. Okay, we gotta go. All right, last flip right here. Last flip. Lord, what a blessing. I'm in a sweet spot. I'm feeling good. The sun is shining. I knew it would. The world's a playground. I'm in the clouds. What it's all about Check it out Last week, me and Hilliard High School Tournament did the same thing. All day, we went, we had like very little. Like we had like nine pounds all day. Last 45 minutes, what'd Scott just do? Last, what, 45 minutes? Oh, it's a big one. It's a good start. Thank you very much. Not bad. Three pounds, 10 ounces as of this morning. Five fish here today. 15 pounds, eight ounces. He moves into fourth place with 49 pounds and two ounces. Digging deep in that BMC weigh-in bag. Let me hear you, Florida. 49 pounds, two ounces. Puts you in fourth place currently. And uh, 
a good tournament, no matter what way it shakes out. I'd love to see you in the top 10. We'll find out at the end of the way. And But, man, a good finish here in Florida. Yeah, I can't complain. You come out of Florida with two checks to start the year. Boy, that's a blessing because Florida has really got me over the years. But, um, man, I want to say hey to my wife, Emily, and my two little girls, uh, Reese and Ren. They're back home watching. I don't say hey to them enough on stage. But, uh, man, what a crowd. Wow, what a crowd. <laughs> it's a big crowd, man. That's a, the rest of the venues this year got a lot to stand up to uh, after seeing this crowd. But I, I'm headed home. Man. I'm leaving early in the morning. I got to go home, get my, uh, get my new boat, get everything switched out, and get ready for Bassmaster Classic practice next Friday. Can't wait to see you there. The biggest derby in bass fishing. Florida, one of your very own. He's a two-time Bassmaster winner, a seven-time FLW Tour winner from DeBerry, Florida, John Cox. Started the day with 32 pounds, 15 ounces. Five fish here today, 23 pounds and an ounce. 23-1, and Cox rockets all the way to fourth place with 56 pounds even. Florida, let me hear it. Cox has an 11, just weighed in on 11 pounder. But the perch has got another 11 pounder. Like, that whole thing of, of like the fish not coming and they're leaving, like it's reversing now. Like it's literally, they're literally moving to the bank as we speak. The 2019 Elite Series Angler of the Year, a Bassmaster Classic qualifier from Alabama, Scott Canterbury. 34 pounds and two ounces start today. Five fish to add to that here today. 12 pounds and three ounces. He moves into 17th place with 46 pounds and five ounces for the Skeeter Yamaha Pro from Alabama. So in 17th place currently, Scott, and uh, another good finish. Anytime you make it here to semifinal Saturday, I know that's always the goal. That's always the goal, especially to start the year off good. And I got two good checks starting the year off some good points. This is an awesome crowd, guys. Appreciate y'all coming out. Uh, this is awesome. It's a great place. I had a lot of fun today. I caught probably 30 bass. I mean, it was crazy. I just never could catch any big ones. If you uh, just want to go catch some fish, get you a 5 6 stinks, epic tungsten one and a uh, June Bug T-Mac from Netbait just pitching lily pads. I mean, I probably caught 30 today, but I just had that one good bite and uh, never could catch any more big ones. Be sure and soak that, soak your T-Mac since uh, American Bait Works, Bait Fuel, and I think these spawning bass really go crazy. We got any hunters out here? Anybody hunt like to hunt? I got a deal. I mean, I partnered up with uh, Whitetail Heaven this year, guys, and uh, if y'all are looking for a Fair chase, free ranging deer, whitetail deer hunt of a lifetime, give them a look. Or a turkey hunt also. They got Osceola's down here in Florida, Eastern's in Kentucky, so uh, give them a look, guys. It's great to have you here. Day three at the Harris Chain. Man, I had a blast, caught a bunch of fish. I just never got around any big ones. And, uh, you know, Scott's gonna make the top 10. He's gonna be fishing championship day. I'm gonna be out, it's payday for me. Good start to the year, it's another good tournament, solid finish points toward that AOY, toward the Classic. It's what we're all looking forward to, and uh, we'll keep it going, guys. Be sure and keep up with Scott Martin Challenge during the Classic, and then we'll see you at Santee Cooper. He's a seven-time FLW Tour winner. Gonna fish his first Bassmaster Classic in just a few weeks from Clewiston, Florida, Scott Martin. <laughs> Scott Martin started the day with 34 pounds and four ounces, looking for 16, 21 pounds, five ounces. Never mind 16, 21, five. And with 55 pounds, nine ounces, Scott Martin moves into fifth place currently. 21, five gives him 55 pounds, nine ounces. You're in fifth place right now inside the top 10. And man, it seems like so much has gone wrong for you, but still everything turned out right for you this week. I mean, you're might get a shot to get out there, and it really does feel like one of those championship Sundays that anybody can take this. Well, I tell you what, first of all, I just got to give a huge thanks to my Lord and Savior. You know, it, it, he put he, he, he put patience on me this week, and, and I do have to apologize on day one. I had a couple little come-aparts there, but, you know, it, it's just really, I didn't I didn't even notice. It's, well, when you have your hands on a nine-pounder and it gets away, it's just kind of a bad day. But, but you know what, the, the last two days I've caught a couple big fish. It's put me in a position where 
I, if I can go out tomorrow and just do my job, you just never know. The Harris chain's fishing fantastic right now. The weights are getting bigger and bigger. And so I just hope I make it. Uh, I hope my wife can make it up here tomorrow with my kids. And it's just, it's just been an awesome week. You know, I'm not sight fishing. I've just, I told myself I wasn't going to try to look at any of them this week. And I've just been fishing and flipping and it's been fun. It's been fun. But I'll tell you what, I'm nervous. Every time I hook one of those big ones, I'll start praying. I'm like, please don't come off. But I've, I've got two of those big ones in today and we'll see what happens tomorrow. Love to see you in our top 10. Let's hear it for them, Florida. Some days are good days, some days are bad days. And today was definitely a good day. 21 and change or so. It was just neat. It was, I'll tell you the best part of today was, was making my mind up where I was gonna go and just sticking with it and just grind, like grinding it out to the point where it was like one pounder, pound and a half. And I just kept, I just kept gaining. Every, every fish gave me a little bit more and, and uh, then running down the lake late in the day like that. And just literally like running down the bank, looking for the right type of cover and I saw something, I'm like, all right, let's just spend five minutes there, boom, catch a six pounder. So, you know, we, 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 uh, we'll take it. You know, I, I don't know what tomorrow ex to expect. Um, we could catch eight pounds, we could catch 28 pounds. I really don't know, but their big ones are biting right now. Uh, so far, I've caught every single fish on a bandito bug, like the entire tournament, with one rod in my hand. So it's been fun and uh, true blessing. So hope you guys are enjoying the video, but I hate that Canterbury and Matt didn't make it, but they had some really great events, so uh, we'll think we'll make our very first finals here on the Bass Elite, so super pumped. No idea what I'm gonna do tomorrow, but today was a fun day of fishing, and it was just one of those deals. And I'm so glad you got to watch it. <laughs> it was mean, like, so cool. I know you were tripping <laughs> when I so had that cool. big one. I'm like, and it was having me pinned, I was and I'm so like, scared. I'm dragging it. It was behind. It was on the other side of the boat. I was so scared. Oh, I'm <laughs> you, you. I boat swung that six. Uh, did you really? Yes. I was just like, I was just like, ah, oh, just swung him in the boat. All right. So, no idea what tomorrow's gonna bring. I really don't. Um, we got a lot of thinking, a lot of decisions to make tonight. We can look at the wind, look at the weather kind of digest it all and we're gonna get up in the morning and we're gonna go do it again but right now we're gonna go eat dinner we're gonna go break some tackle yeah and so let's go every fish I've weighed in come on that right there I designed it and I'm doing really well in the tournament on it which is cool fish like it a lot Big time like it. So my game plan, I, I gotta think about it a little bit, but basically I've caught 12, 13 pounds and then I'll catch a big one. And that gives me 17, or today I caught two big ones, so it gives me 21. But I've struggled to catch fish early. So maybe tomorrow I'm gonna try a couple new areas, new things, some pads, maybe some even some grass that I found and just see if I can't somehow get 15, 16 pounds, then go head hunting for one big one, get the one big one, I have 20, 21, can move on the tournament, you know. He getting a big old check tomorrow, when them big ones. What's up, dude? We're going on, man. That's Scott. <laughs> he said, "Man, <laughs> what's up, buddy? What up? Just trying, just trying to win this tournament, man. You better. You gonna be praying for me tomorrow? Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. The entire tournament. When they show them one, one bait. Yeah, one. They'll take. They'll take one. It's one bait. One bait. I'm, well, every single fish that, has been that, one bait. Get it out. 
Scott. You got all these hey, rods, Martin. and you got. Hey. Welcome to Championship Sunday, brother. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. It feels special to be here. Oh, hey, put, put it, it forward. <laughs> 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 all right, get, get your one bait out. I mean, you got all these rods out. I know. I haven't one, caught right? a single fish on anything else. Okay. I thought it was so much bigger. It was like, dude, it was so long. It was like this long. And it would swim by me and, and it would just open its mouth. I'm like, I'm staying here all day. Stay here all day. And then I caught it. I was like, I grabbed it and pulled it out of the water. I was like, ah, oh, it's only a 10. It's only a 10. <laughs> I, was, I, was, I thought it was, I thought it was going to be like, I thought it was going to be the biggest ever. Like, You're I was, so scarred. I know. I was You're like, really oh, scarred. I thought it was, I thought it was the one. All right, well, about five more minutes, we're going to get ready to get this thing going. A lot chillier this morning. We haven't had to wear jackets at all. It's been been really hot all week, and now it's freezing again. So yeah, I, don't, I don't know. You know, we're not real sure what to expect out there. 100%. Wind's blowing a lot harder this morning as well. So they are going to catch them. <laughs> I totally thought it was going to be warmer, and One I'm very mad. Minute. I'm very mad. <laughs> All right, gonna start somewhere. Number one. Got me one on Championship Sunday. How about that? That's my first bass on Championship Sunday. There's a bunch of holes up in there. That's where the, the fish are. I'm just trying to roam around and see if I can find some more out here. Got two patterns going on on the lake. Spawn deal. And then there's a post-spawn. There's a post-spawn deal going on. And a lot of the guys are catching them. You know, like the, a lot of the guys in the top five are all in that hydrilla down on the other end of the lake. There's a lot of fish spawning in those pads right there, but they've just been males. Yeah, but they might, I mean, at some point, the females move in there. We're gonna go in there and flip in a minute. I'm just trying to find, if I can find a cold morning. These fish, a lot of times they just lay out here. Pike. All right. Doesn't count. Doesn't count. This hydrilla is good and crisp. This time of the year, you want to look for really fresh green hydrilla. It's not everywhere on this chain, and 
about half the guys in the top 10 are fishing one section on Harris. It's, there's one. There's a little better. Okay. There we go. There we go. We might, we might just figure something out how to catch a few this morning. Green hydrilla, lily pads, spawn. Don't, don't. <laughs> I like it. I like it. That's awesome. Ooh, one hit it. One hit it. Working on my little 11, 12 pound bag. Pound and a half for there. Small one. But that's it. That's the thing about Florida. It's like, I mean, yeah, there might be some guys catching like all four and five pounders. Like every time they set the hook, it's a big giant one. But typically, it's pound and a half, pound and a half, two pounder, pound and a half, two pounder, and then an eight. And then you'll have 17. If you get another six or an eight, you have 21. You know, it's just kind of how, kind of how Florida is, really. So. As long as you're getting getting some male bites in a spawning area, you got a real good chance of getting a big one. Real good chance of getting a real big one. There's a big one. There's a big one. No, no, not a big one. Not a big one. Not a big one. Good one though. I like it when a plan starts working out. We haven't caught a big one yet, but I'm telling you, I'm telling you, somewhere on this edge, it could go down. It's two pounder, probably two and a quarter actually. Put, put him on my big side. They're in here spawning in these pads. In the mornings, a lot of times those big females will sit here on this edge, like I said, and get ready to move in there. The sun warms up just a hair. See if we can't pick off. I just need like two big bites out here. Wind's perfect. Blowing in. Spawning bank. It's really set up pretty good. I haven't gone sight fishing at all this week. I haven't looked at a single bass. It was funny in practice. I. I I didn't want to be distracted by, I love sight fishing. Um, I didn't want to be distracted, so I kind of just purposely not looked and just rode it off. So I said, if I can just figure out how to catch them fishing, you know, that's good. And, and you know, it's hard to win a four day tournament strictly sight fishing. You know, today I'm, I may poke my head into a few little places that I've, I've, thought about there's some small little zones real close to where I'm fishing just to see if there's a little bonus bonus bass laying around but by any means am I gonna go sight fishing I may may just take a peek in a few spots what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go down this with the chatterbait and then turn and come back up and flip there's one oh maybe 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 a big one. Maybe. Another dang pickerel. What the heck? Scared the mess out of me. I didn't know what happened. He hit it hard and was running at me at 100. All right. You know what they say. Anytime there's a pickerel, there's an eight pounder around because they eat the pickerel. Oh! Well, that's my limit. 
quickest lemon I've had all week. It's not big, but it's momentum. Another pound and a half. Or five small ones isn't much. And it's not going to come close to doing anything special. But there is something nice about having five in your box. No matter, no matter who you are. You always... You always want to get that fifth one. There's just something about it. it. Just takes a little, little off of you. This looks juicy right here. Tangled up, tangled up grass, hydrilla, wind blowing in on it. There ought to be one right in here. Called it two something. Get rid of a one something. I'm gonna put this up here. I gotta do the wall of Skeeter. Excuse me. There you go, wall of Skeeter. Here we go. That one. Here's the neat thing about this bait right here. This is the Guggen baits, Bandito bug. I designed that bait. I literally designed that bait. So that's that's really cool to be able to design a bait and have it work as well as it does. It's just awesome. matter of time I hope <laughs> two pounder That helps a lot. A little fluke. That's nice. Okay. Another probably two over two and a half. Just pitching these pads and just fishing real slow. There's a bit on most of these pads. And in practice, you could come through here and you got bit quick. But now they're they're not really wanting to react good but i've just been soaking it like that and i'm still getting bit hopefully i can catch one of these big ones i caught a seven right on that patch right around right there on that point and i haven't fished any more of these i feel like there's a female on this on this patch right here See, the cool thing about this week was we all made the cut from the house matt and Canterbury and all of us. And the neat thing is we're all fishing totally different stuff. Totally different lakes. Totally different techniques. Pretty cool. Oh my gosh. I don't know if that was a big one or not. Knocked slack. Knocked, knocked it pretty hard. I knew there was another one in there, but I was thinking it might have been a female. I don't think this is going to help me.
skinny fish. I think probably didn't weigh two pounds. He's got a two and a half pound body. Yeah, I don't think he helps me. He doesn't. <laughs> That's crazy. But he's so skinny, little male. All right, guys, well, we're heading in. I don't, I don't know, we, I think we'll make it. You know, we left everything on the table, guys. I mean, I, I didn't, um, I, I just, I guess today was a bad idea, but you know, if I would have just got one or two bites flipping that were, me that were meaningful, and then I had that one big bite in there, you know, my game plan wasn't off. Somebody's gonna win this tournament doing whatever they've been doing. All in all, it was a good week. I'm so glad you guys got to hang out, watch everything. Caught a lot of fish today, just no good quality, so. This would be a fun way in right here. So I think they're gonna um, put my trailer on a Toyota and pull me out. Championship Sunday appearance here, ladies and gentlemen. Let him dig deep in that BMC weigh-in bag. Let's hear it for one of Florida's very own Scott Martin. 65 pounds and 12 ounces. And Scott, unfortunately not going to take the title this time around. But man, your first championship Sunday appearance, just a few days away from going to fish your first Bassmaster Classic. Not bad momentum heading, heading into the biggest event in sport fishing. Well, I tell you what, I've been dreaming about the Bassmasters Classic my entire life. I've been to, probably been to more classics than probably anybody, you know, all the years with Dad and, and going, but being able to fish in my very first one, I'm super excited. You know, the Lord blessed me this week, made some really good decisions. Even though I didn't catch a big fish today, I still made good decisions, caught quite a few fish. I just ran out of opportunities, really. But uh, I, I tell you, it's, it's, uh, it's just awesome. It's a game. This game and sport is so interesting to see when you make those little decisions on how it pays off. And, and uh, again, it was a good week. Been able to, uh, you know, fish today. Awesome. Momentum for the Classic is all, is all I'm excited about right now. And, and I also want to say a huge thank you to my wife coming up. She drove. My mom is here. My son, Reed, came up. And, and my daughters are here. Everybody's here. And the crowd is awesome. Leesburg, you guys rock. So I'm gonna hang out for a little while afterwards, sign some hats. We've got some SMC merch as well. And I wanna say a huge thank you to all my sponsors. Couldn't do it without. And I'm uh, looking forward to the classic. See you guys. Congrats on your first championship Sunday, the first of many. Let's hear it for Scott Martin. At 58 pounds an ounce, looking for 1911. 13 pounds, 7 ounces, 13, 7, and with that, Buddy Gross is a 
two-time Bassmaster Elite Series champion. Champion. All right, guys. What an awesome week. We made the finals. We didn't do worth a darn today, but that's all right. We had a lot of fun. Congratulations to Buddy Gross and everybody else in the top 10. Uh, you know, it was awesome. And hopefully you guys enjoyed watching today. And the best part of today is having my family here with me. They're good. We're proud of you, My so mom, ready. my girls, my boys, everybody. So fun. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. And we will see you later. Bam that thing out, Mom. Bam. Mom, say bam. And hit the screen. Bam go, go bam. bam. There you go.